Breaking news we're following this morning. Police searching for the suspect after a man was shot while on board a subway train in Manhattan. It happened around 1 o'clock this morning, hours after the governor and the mayor announced subway crime has been falling in recent months. CBS 2's Christina Fan is live at the Canal Street Station in Lower Manhattan. Christina. Good morning, Andrea. Added patrols began in October, and since then, officials say the number of major crimes underground has decreased by 16 percent. But those numbers were little relief for passengers this morning who had to duck for cover. We all ran to a corner just praying that we were going to be safe. It was pandemonium for riders on a southbound N train Saturday morning as gunshots rang out. Police say a 34 year old man was shot in the torso after getting into an argument with another passenger as the train pulled into the Canal Street station. I thought I was going to die. I didn't think this would ever happen to me, and now it did happen. We've seen this on TV, and now. Anyone. The shooting comes less than 24 hours after the mayor and governor touted major improvements to subway safety, reporting a 16% drop in crime at a press conference Friday. I can't tell New Yorkers they should feel safe. I'm not going to even do that. But the data is showing that New Yorkers are telling us they feel safer, and that's what I'm going to pay attention to. Governor Hochul attributed the success to the addition of 1,200 more cops placed on subway cars beginning last October. Since then, arrests have been up 63 percent. Summonses for fare evasion increased by 170 percent. While some riders have noticed a difference. I've noticed just uh, this week since we got back into town, I've noticed more police in the subway system. Transportation advocates say it's too early to celebrate. Tell that to the families of the 11 victims who were killed that the subway is safe and the first victim who died this year won't be coming home to his family. Charlton D'Souza with Passengers United says more mental health resources are needed now. The city says it's working with hospitals to open more beds for those patients within the next month. We need to get these individuals who are off their medications treatment right away, but we also need to, you know, have police at every subway station on two tours. And like I've been saying, bring in the National Guard. And police say the suspect from this morning's shooting is still on the run. He is described as a man in his 30s, possibly wearing a denim jacket. Live from Lower Manhattan, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.